Hello everyone, this is Carol. And today we are going to show you how to increase the sense of depth in your aerial footage. So if you are interested in this topic, then keep watching. As one of the most important factors which shape the image rendering effect, layers is also an important element to make your video more cinematic. Generally, when shooting scenery shots, the creators would usually divide the scene into close-ups, media shots, and long shots, because this can help highlight the depth of the image and give the image a great sense of layering. When imitating these shots, apart from the composition in pre-shooting process, we also need to focus on the post-editing to enhance the layering deflation. Well, let's take a look at this example. Through working on the colors, we have made the edges between the close-ups, medium and long shots more visible. Well, let me show you how to do it. First, let's take a look at the image. The composition of the image itself is not bad, and the structure in front and rear can be grouped into the woods in the front. The mountains, plains and rivers in the mid-ground, and the mountains and sky in the distance. So, when we are mixing the colors, we just need to focus on strengthening the depth between each layer, based on the front and the rear structure. We can see that the color of the whole image is pretty yellowish, which makes the sky that is supposed to be the blue look kind of grayish. And this combination makes the color of the sky approximate to that of the mountains. At this point, the middle and the long shots look pretty flat and boring, so we need to separate the sky from the picture. Well, here we can strengthen the blue color of the sky. And that is to adjust the color temperature a little to the right. Well, this is pretty much it. It looks much better now. Let's look at the picture again. You can see that the highlights of the picture is so bright that there is little details shown in this area. So we come to the highlights and put them down a little bit. Well, that's much better. Now after we lower the highlight area, the sky and the mountains are blurred again. And since the brightness contrast between the mountains and the sky is still quite obvious, we can correct it by increasing the whites and decreasing the blacks and the darkness. Thus, first adjust the white. Then lower the black a little bit. And then the dark part. What I have done so far is just some light adjustment, but that has drawn out the distinct layers between the rear, meteor, and non views of the picture. But at the same time, here comes a small problem, and that is the picture looks a little too bright. So let's reduce the exposure a little. That's pretty much it. Well, now it looks much better. Next, let's work on the color. First, we can increase the contrast and the saturation of the picture a little. By strengthening the color of the picture, we can enhance the sense of layering. Well, these effects are not bad, but I think the blue color of the sky could be a little more prominent. Let's come to the HSL. Select blue and increase the saturation of the blue a little bit. The simple landscape color grading is complete. Pretty simple, right? A lot of landscape footage can also adopt this color grading edit. 
and with just a few minutes, your video will be greatly enhanced. This is all for today's video. If you want to learn more editing tricks or what has been going on with VideoProf Logger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.